When you walk into the dentist's office for a filling or a tooth extraction, one of the first things the dentist does is inject something into your gums to numb the pain. Within a few minutes, you can't feel a thing. No matter how much poking or drilling is going on, that magical substance? It's often something called Novocaine. But how exactly does Novocaine work? How does it make pain seemingly disappear? In this video, we're diving deep into the science of this powerful anesthetic, how it works on a microscopic level, where it comes from, and why it's such a game changer in modern medicine and dentistry. Right here on History of Simple Things. Novocaine, also known by its generic name Procaine, is a local anesthetic. That means it's designed to block sensation without affecting your consciousness. You're fully awake, fully aware, but you don't feel pain in the area where it's applied. Procaine was first synthesized in 1905 by German chemist Alfred Einhorn. Before Novocaine came along, doctors relied on cocaine for numbing. While cocaine was effective at blocking pain, it had dangerous side effects and a high potential for addiction. Novocaine was developed as a safer, non-addictive alternative. It quickly gained popularity, especially in dentistry, where controlling pain locally is essential. To understand how Novocaine works, it's important to first understand how pain signals travel in the body. Your nervous system is essentially a massive network of wires. Nerves send electrical signals or impulses from various parts of your body to your brain. These impulses are generated and transmitted by charged particles, called ions, that move in and out of nerve cells. When your body experiences something painful, like a needle prick or a drill against your tooth, the pain receptors in that area send an electrical signal along the nerves to your brain. The brain interprets that signal as pain. Novocaine works by interfering with the sodium channels in your nerve cells. When injected near a nerve, Novocaine molecules slip into the nerve membrane and block these channels. This prevents sodium ions from entering the cell, which means the electrical signal, the message of pain, can't be generated or transmitted. It's like cutting a wire in a telephone line. The pain might still be happening, but your brain doesn't receive the message, so you don't feel it. What's especially fascinating is that Novocaine is selective. It mainly affects sensory nerves, the ones responsible for feeling, while leaving motor nerves, which control movement, largely untouched. That's why you can still move your mouth after a dental procedure, even though you can't feel part of it. The numbing effect is temporary, lasting anywhere from 30 minutes to a couple of hours, depending on how much is used and whether it's combined with other drugs like epinephrine. After that, the sodium channels return to normal function and sensation gradually comes back. Once Novocaine is injected, it doesn't work instantly. It takes a couple of minutes for the drug to diffuse through the tissue and reach the nerve endings. The molecules need time to bind to the sodium channels and fully block them. Similarly, it wears off gradually because the body breaks down the drug using enzymes in the blood, and the blocked channels slowly become unblocked as the drug leaves the system. Interestingly, Novocaine isn't used as widely today as it once was. Modern local anesthetics like lidocaine have taken its place in many procedures because they act faster, last longer, and cause fewer allergic reactions. However, the principles of how they work remain the same. They all block sodium channels to interrupt the pain signal. Often, Novocaine is combined with a small amount of epinephrine, also known as adrenaline. Why? Because epinephrine constricts blood vessels near the injection site. This slows the absorption of the anesthetic into the bloodstream, allowing it to stay near the nerve endings for longer. 
It prolongs the numbing effect and reduces the amount of anesthetic needed. It also minimizes bleeding in the area, which is particularly useful during surgical procedures. However, this combination isn't suitable for everyone. Patients with certain heart conditions may be given a version without epinephrine to avoid complications. While Novocaine is generally safe, like any drug, it comes with potential side effects. Some people may experience temporary dizziness, nausea, or a racing heart, especially if the anesthetic is accidentally injected into a blood vessel. There's also a rare chance of allergic reaction. Symptoms might include itching, rash, swelling, or even trouble breathing. In extremely rare cases, nerve damage can occur if the injection isn't administered properly, leading to prolonged numbness or tingling. That's why it's important that local anesthetics are always given by trained professionals who know the correct technique and dosage. The invention and refinement of drugs like Novocaine revolutionized modern medicine. Before local anesthetics, surgeries, even dental ones, were performed without any pain relief or required full body anesthesia, which came with its own risks. With the ability to selectively numb parts of the body, procedures became safer, faster, and more comfortable. Patients could recover more quickly and doctors could work more precisely. In the broader landscape of medicine, local anesthetics are used not just in dentistry, but also in minor surgeries. Each version has slightly different properties, but they all trace their roots back to the same basic principle, blocking the sodium channels that carry pain. So the next time you're sitting in the dentist's chair, feeling that weird numb sensation in your cheek or tongue, remember, there's some fascinating science at work behind the scenes. Novocaine and other local anesthetics don't just make you feel more comfortable. They represent a milestone in medical history. By understanding how they work, by blocking sodium channels and stopping pain signals in their tracks, we gain a deeper appreciation for the tools that make modern healthcare so advanced and so humane. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.